Oh my God. Earl Spencer confirmed, cut ties with the Sussexes and declared not to attend the coronation if they attend. Earl Spencer was spotted arriving at the BBC Broadcasting House in London on Sunday after admitting that he most likely won't be at King Charles's coronation if Harry and Meghan attend. Princess Diana's brother, who lives at Althorpe House in Northamptonshire, appeared in good spirits as he arrived to appear on Radio 4. Charles, who carried a brown bag, donned a navy suit which he paired with a white shirt. It comes after he recently admitted he probably won't be invited to King Charles's coronation on Jane Garvey and Fee Glover's Times radio podcast Off Air. Earlier, Tom Bower's explosive new book, Revenge, Meghan Harry and the War Between the Windsors, has seen him unpick the truth behind the couple by speaking to 80 people who know Harry and Meghan personally. Countless earth-shattering claims have been made by the author, from how Meghan failed to get on with Harry's friends, to the changes the palace forced the writers of Suits to make after the couple's relationship became public knowledge. Another interesting story from Bower's book suggests that Diana, the Princess of Wales' brother Earl Spencer, was asked to speak to his nephew about his closeness with Meghan. The author claims that not only did Earl Spencer and Diana's two sisters, Lady Sarah McCorkdale and Baroness Jane Fellows, fail to see the similarities between Meghan and Harry's late mother, as the prince reportedly had hoped, but they thought that she'd struggle to fit in with the royal family. Bauer writes, in early September 2017, Kate revealed that she was expecting her third child. Prone to sickness and pregnancy, she curtailed her public appearances. Since the Vanity Fair article had increased the Cambridge's suspicion of Meghan, the actress discovered that her neighbour in Kensington Palace had even less time for her. By then, Harry had introduced Meghan to Diana's two sisters, Jane and Sarah, and a best friend, Julia Samuel. Harry assumed that Diana's family and friends would see a similarity between Diana and his fiance. Both, he said, shared the same problems. He was disappointed. No one agreed that his vulnerable mother had anything in common with his girlfriend. More discomforting for him, they thought that Meghan wouldn't fit in with the Windsor clan. The author continued that unease was voiced by Charles Spencer, Diana's brother. At William's request, Spencer weighed in. Three times married, Spencer cautioned his nephew to reconsider his haste towards marriage. His advice provoked a bitter reaction. This was going to be really hard. Harry would later reflect on establishing Meghan's place within the family. One of his recurring concerns was insufficient money if they married. Although Harry annually received around £1.5 million from Charles, Meghan had been advised to continue acting in order to supplement their income. By that point, Meghan knew from her agent Nick Collins that her acting prospects were limited. Omid Scobie, her official biographer, would accurately summarise her exit from Hollywood. She wanted a more meaningful career, he wrote. She could be doing so much more with her platform. Her frustration remained. She was tantalisingly close to sealing her future, but nothing was official.